When I was in eighth grade, I was living with my father and he bought me a guitar um, for Christmas. And the funny part of that story is that, uh, you know, kids have like the list of what they want, you know, for Christmas. And I had made a list and uh, I had cut out a picture of a Les Paul and I put it on the paper and I wrote above it, this is all I want. As the days leading up to Christmas kept ticking off the calendar there, I noticed a guitar-sized uh, present underneath the, uh, the tree, and I thought he got it for me. And uh, so I was really stoked because I was pretty sure that's what it was. And uh, I opened it up and I was correct, but it was not a Les Paul. It was, uh, it was an acoustic guitar. And I uh, remember I was uh, really disappointed and my dad was like, you get good on that thing first and then I'll buy you a Les Paul, but <laughs> learn how to play that thing first. In the early 90s, I got four Les Pauls and I still have them all. I got a white Les Paul, which I later kind of doctored with a torch and it's kind of, kind of got like a burnt look to it, like a, almost like a leopard print. Uh, there was a black one, you know, black on black and a, uh, a trans blue, so you could still see the wood grain underneath it, and the wino, which has also got a trans finish on it, so you can see the see the wood through it. And uh, you know, it's a guitar that I've always uh, always dug. All of all four of those Pauls, actually, you know, and I, I still have them and I still rock them all today. So you know, the cool thing is there's a couple of little tweaks, you know, with like some pickups and the distressed look. It's pretty wild. I, I held them up right next to each other, and it's pretty spot on, like the marks on the thing. So it's always been uh, one of my favorite guitars. It's a really good looking guitar. Each guitar has its own thing. You know, even if uh, you take 10 guitars that are exactly the same model off the line, they're all gonna be just a little bit, just a little bit different. Uh, you know, there's there's little variances of stuff. The Wino to me uh, has a little bit more of a warmer, rounder tone, I think, than, than the, uh, the other three always been the case with that guitar. It's just got a little bit of a uh, fuller, kind of richer, warmer sound. I'm really happy to uh, officially be part of the Gibson family now. And and, uh, and I think we've made some uh, some really great guitars. I, I, lo I love the company and the, and the, and the folks running it. Uh, I've always been a fan of their guitars and uh, we're coming out with some really cool, cool JC models, you know, that uh, hopefully you'll like.